One of the many Sydney beaches that has rock pools where the locals come swimming. We can be closer. So these are pools that were built in the Great Depression. The people work in Sydney. Sydney siders and there's probably about 30 in the Sydney area on each beach and there's a uh, rock pool that drains and rises with the tides so depending on uh, how long the, the water gets drained it's fresh water pretty much every day coming in and they'll swim all the way through summer to winter and we actually see we've got an onshore wind at the moment just to drop in on these rocks Out. Bit of a non-shore wind today, which creates a very uneven surface. So what I've got is a Stump Jumper Alloy 2021 model. It's the S4 size, which I feel is a little bit too, fraction a bit large for me. Um, so what I've been working on is a way of shortening this reach for me, or the cockpit reach, whatever you want to call it. So I've actually moved the seat in about 10 to 15 mils closer to the bars. Then I've changed from the uh, standard 50 mil stem that came with the bike and installed a uh, rock face turbine R35. That is actually in the colors orange, obviously. And then what this is, is actually the reach on this one is a 32 mil length. Um, so what it's really achieving for me is a shorter reach for me. The reason why I'm doing that is not a technical reason, but for the fact that I'm actually getting sore wrists from every time I'm riding. The reason being I'm reaching forward a lot to get those bars, so I tend to put leaning a bit more my weight a bit forward, so the weight's sitting on my wrist, which is the wrong way of doing it. But what I've done now for about a month, having these uh, this new um, stem, it's now created me to evenly put my weight on my feet which meant not putting the weight on my wrist which I'm now finding at the end of each ride 
I don't have aching wrist anymore, which is to me has made a, uh, a bike which I was sort of regretting in the beginning to now starting to get really quite used to what this bike can do. Um, what that is, it's a um, technically about this uh, stem, it's actually uh, what they call a CNC aluminium. Basically what that means is it's a full piece aluminium that's put through a computer program to uh, machine out the uh, excess uh, aluminium, meaning you can cut down on the weight and at the same time uh, maintain the strength on that through there. So it's a very light stem. Uh, silly me, I didn't actually uh, weigh the thing before it put on, but it's definitely lighter than the 50mm that came with it. So the bike itself is improving the more I do some modifications on it. And one of the things I did put on it was this, was actually a, uh, a silicon cap for the, uh, for the crank beds. The reason being is, the reason is that the ends of the cranks were just copying, pounding, climbing, climbing on anything on uneven surfaces like rocks. So that's a really big change for the bike. The bike itself, yes, being the entry level aluminium, definitely it is, or alloy, it is definitely a heavier one than the uh, carbon. I have two mates that have carbon stump jumpers, and boy, they're a lot lighter than this. But for its price, in Australian dollars, $3,200, I mean, it's, it's, not a, it's a great buy to get into a, a full suspension bike, because in a carbon specialized, we're looking around 6,000, probably even, even higher to $8,000, big difference to make on that through there. So at this point in time, I'm quite happy with the bike and just uh, riding it more and more.